Psalm 85. Another psalm by that great musical family, the descendants of Korah. There is a short introduction. Lord, you have poured out amazing blessings on your land. You have restored the fortunes of Israel. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. Yes, you have covered all their sins. A wonderful statement about some of the goodness of God and what he has done for his people, pouring out blessings, forgiveness and glory. It then says interlude, in other words, stop and think. Ponder on how good God is. And then we continue with the rest of the psalm. You have withdrawn your fury. You have ended your blazing anger. Now turn to us again, O God of our salvation. Put aside your anger against us. Will you be angry with us always? Will you prolong your wrath to distant generations? Won't you revive us again so that your people can rejoice in you? Show us unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Here's the understanding that God's anger does not last forever. He has to respond to our sins. But when we turn to him, then we find his unfailing love again and his salvation comes flowing towards us. I listen carefully to what God the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to his people, his faithful ones. But, do not, but let them not return to their foolish ways. Surely his salvation is near to those who honour him. Our land will be filled with his glory. Yes, indeed, his salvation is near to those who honour him. Put him first and his salvation follows. Put him first and his peace follows. Listen carefully to God's way. It's not the same as our way. God's way is the way of peace and salvation and glory. Unfailing truth and love have met. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth springs up from the earth and righteousness smiles down from heaven. Yes, the Lord pours down his blessings. Our land will yield its bountiful crops. Righteousness goes as a herald before him, preparing the way for his steps. What a beautiful description. A description of what God has done for us through Jesus. Unfailing love and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Let me remind you of a beautiful paraphrase of those few verses in that song here is love. Here is love, vast as the ocean, loving kindness as the flood. When the prince of life our ransom shed for us his precious blood. Who his love will not remember? Who can cease to sing his praise? He can never be forgotten throughout heaven's eternal days. On the Mount of Crucifixion, fountains opened deep and wide. Through the floodgates of God's mercy flowed a vast and gracious tide. Grace and love, like mounting, mighty rivers, poured incessant from above. And heaven's peace and perfect justice kissed a guilty world in love. Wonderful God, full of love, grace, mercy and justice. In Jesus you have kissed us with your love.
and your, your truth and love. Righteousness and justice have come together in one, in Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. Amen.